today I am back and I'm so excited that I am going to create a whole complete 12 by 12 scrapbook album in 31 days. So in August that is our plan is to create a whole album. Now I know this sounds intimidating but it is so doable and I've broken it down into steps so that you can kind of follow along and hopefully complete an album. So I'm thinking um, today's video is just for the basics. So we have lots of decisions that we need to make today to make this achievable. So step one, decide on an album. Decide if you want to do 12 by 12. That's what I'm going to do because that's what I primarily scrapbook. Um, decide on pretty much size. Do you want to do a 12 by 12 album? Do you want to do an 8 by 8? Do you want to do a 6 by 6? Do you want to do a mini journal? Um, all of those, the smaller albums are most definitely um, achievable within a month. 12 by, 12 by 12 is a little more daunting, but it is doable. So... I have chosen my album and it's oh sorry and it's this one um this is just one I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby for probably like three bucks um some months back when they was having their big sale and it comes with page protectors already in it and I like the three ring binders because I scrap out of order so I can move my pages around and change the order of them without having to pull them in and out of the sleeves. So this is just my album of choice. You can choose whatever kind of album you prefer, um, whatever size you prefer, but the goal is to make a decision on what you want to do. So um, most of the time it comes with 10 page protectors. So in reality, that is eight, is that right? I think eight double page layouts, two regular page. It equals out, if you have 10 page protectors, that equals out with like 20, 20 pages overall. I think um, my goal is I'm going to complete 22 pages um, in this. So I'm going to have 10 double page layouts and two single page layouts for the front and the back. And that will be pretty much a complete album. So, um, the next decision you need to make is theme. So, you have to decide, do you want to do it themed? Do you want to do it based on a very specific theme? Say, camping or sports do you want to base it around an event and um, do you have a lot of pictures from one event that you need to get scrapped like a baby shower or a birthday party or something like that which that kind of goes with the themed also but you could do it based just on one event um once you decide your theme Maybe pull out those pictures that you have a lot of and that you've been putting off scrapping, but you have a large amount of them that you would like to get into an album, but you kind of don't know what to do. Just create its own album if it's that of important of an event to you. Um, so my theme that I am choosing to do for August is sunflowers. Um, if you follow me on my personal Facebook page, you know we just we go to the sunflower fields every year. We went this year, and I have so, 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 so many photos um, from the past, I want to say four years. I think we've went the past four years plus this year. And I haven't even got my pictures printed yet for this this time around. I'm planning on printing those this weekend. But I have probably literally thousands of pictures. I am not going to scrapbook them all, of course. I can't get them all scrapbooked in a month. But I can get a complete album made. And I think what I'm going to do is I have so many already that I think I'm going to take a few from... Sorry, I talk in my head so much. I do it. I do it. I'm sorry if it aggravates the crap out of you. So, um, but 
I think I'm going to take the specialist pictures from each um, sunflower trip and add those in because I don't think that, because this year I've been more aware of taking pictures and I decided I wasn't going to just snap, 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 snap. I don't need five pictures of the same exact thing with just a minuscule difference, you know, maybe a very slight turn of the head or something like that. I don't need all of those. So I've been more aware of what I'm taking when I do take photos. Um, and I'm not printing as many. So, um, album space is becoming very limited. I just don't have the space. I don't want my whole space to just be albums I created. And, um, I just want to try to do a two page of the most important things and put in there. So, that's the second thing. Decide on your theme or your event or, um, you know, whatever you want it to be for your album. That's the next big thing to decide. So then the next thing is pick your photos. So go through, print, you need to print those photos, unless you're going to do digital. You could even do a digital scrapbook. Um, but go through and pick the pictures that you want to be featured in your album and go ahead and get them printed so we have all month to work with them. Um, maybe you're like me and you have the same thing that you have a million pictures of that you do every year as a tradition and you need to just get those in an album because you already have them printed and ooh, I'm looking at my stack right now it's like this tall. Um, so anyways, <laughs> um, Get your pictures printed. Pick what photos you want that's most important that you feel like you can sufficiently fit into 22 pages. If that's how many pages you choose. You could make more pages. Um, but that's what I'm going to focus on and what I have enough time to create for a month. But that is technically a complete album because usually it comes with like 10 page protectors and that would be 20 pages you could fit in an album. And that's going to be a pretty little full album. Um, so, pick your theme, pick your photos, and then, based on your photos, um, or whatever you're thinking of, pick out what colors that you would like to incorporate. So, um, I, it's not perfect, because y'all know I'm not a professional, I'm just play around and do what I like pretty much. I created a printable. Um, it's kind of a cheat sheet. It's not all inclusive or anything like that. I created it in Canva. I can post it. Um, Ginger may let me post it on her group, but um, just as a printable that you can print out to help you along the way if you're a list maker because I find I have to write everything down. I write it in my planner um, for all my filming and what I have plans to do but this is kind of to walk you through so that you can just check things off as we go to um, take and keep you on track to get your album done in a month. So, um, I will post a different view of this so that you can see it better. But um, this is, we're on step one here. So you have theme, your colors, and your photos when you decide on that. And then we can just fill those in. Okay, so as you can see, I have this huge stack of pictures, like it's massive. Um, I haven't even printed the ones from this year yet, but you can see these sunflowers are gorgeous. This year they were really short due to um, we've been in a drought, but I have so many photos. Um, I've scrapbooked a lot of them, but I still have all of these left, um, and um, they're just family photos, things like that. So I have lots already printed. 
um, that I need to work with, but you can see here's our printable. So, first off, you have to decide on your theme. So, what do you want it to be on? It would be great to use for an event, maybe even a certain year, a trip, um, a wedding, a baby shower, a birthday, family photos, uh, crafty crops that you go to, flower farms, vacation, um, the possibilities are endless that you may have a huge amount of um, sports. You know, it may, you may have a very extensive um, amount of pictures for a certain event or theme or something like that. And so, definitely pick your theme. So, I'm just going to fill mine in to keep me on track. And I'm just going to put sunflower um, photos because that is what I am doing from all the years. So, my photos are printed, but I'm working on that. I'm going to put, because I haven't printed them yet, I'm doing the sunflower pics. Um, need to get 2024 printed still. And I need to pick my faves. From printed photos. So. I have all these. But like I said. I'm not going to be able to scrapbook all these. I'm going to go through. I'm going to pick out my favorites. From each trip. And just focus on those. So then for my colors. My colors are probably going to be all over the place because each year we go, we decide that we're going to do a different color. So, um, it's definitely going to be yellows and oranges because it is. And then blues, greens, because literally that's the whole gist of the picture. Um, I may add in some purples and things like that when we get to one of the other steps because we did wear purple this year and gray for um, our photos. You can see in this one we did um, oranges. We just uh, oranges and greens and grays. Um, this one was yellows and grays. Um, last year, I don't even think I have those on here. I may have scrapbooked them already. But last year we did navy. So I have lots of color choices with this, but my main colors I'm going to be using throughout is yellows, oranges, blues, greens because of the photos. So um, that's what I'm going to focus on. Just think whenever you're looking at your photos in general, what can you pull from those? Because that's what we're going to focus on for our, our next homework. So these things are important for our basis to start with. Pick our theme, pick our colors, pick our photos, and get them printed. And then only print your faves so that you don't have a ton of extra um, like someone else I know. <laughs> so, I'm super, super, super excited that you guys are going to be joining me. I hope that you guys get your complete album done in a month. Um, I am breaking it down into super easy steps so that you can follow along and that you can feel accomplished and get those photos finally in an album. Um, and so, come back tomorrow to see what the next step is and what we're going to do next. So, your homework for today is pick a theme, pick your photos and get them printed unless you're doing digital. And think of a color palette that you want to use. Like what pit, what colors can you pull from your photos that will complement them. And we'll be back tomorrow with more homework. <laughs> Bye, y'all.